Well, to me, the function of preaching really can't be abstracted from the, the whole function of worship as a whole. So I see uh, my preaching as part of a much larger ecosystem and I, of which I'm just a, a piece of that. And so I really think more of worship first, and then I think about preaching as a subsection of that. And to me, the key is to get worship right, uh, and, then, and then the preaching then can fit in. And my thoughts on worship were really um, um, kind of shifted dramatically a few uh, a number of years ago um, when I was sitting on a dock in Bandon, Oregon, uh, on, uh, on a lake, meditating about what is the purpose of worship, literally, because we were going to start a worship service, a new one, that fall. And we were asking if you could start with a blank sheet of paper and design worship from the ground up. Um, not with the intention of throwing out tradition, but not being beholden to anything, and just simply, what would you do? And I was asking, really, what is the foundation of worship? And, and as opposed to my normal practice of praying with my eyes closed, I had my eyes wide open that morning as I was just kind of staring into the water and contemplating this. And as I stared, um, suddenly um, the, this enormous bass uh, just came swimming right beneath, uh, right next, to, uh, underneath the dock. The, the water is only about three feet. And it was so big that it was uh, literally, it was causing ripples on the surface of the water, but it was, it was uh, stirring the stand at the bottom too. I mean, it was just it was huge. I've never seen anything like it. it. It shot right past me and I stood up and I gasped. And now, I'm not going to claim that the word of the Lord came to me in the bass. <laughs> However, uh, the, the thought that entered my, my awareness uh, after I gasped, I do think had some substance to it, which was it essentially, if I could put it into words, Eric, this is the purpose um, of worship. Um, if you can you know, take that hour or so you have on a Sunday morning, and even just for a quarter second or a snap of the fingers, uh, help people experience the awe and wonder and surrender you just experienced. You, know, you can pack it up and go home. You know, it is accomplished. And I really chewed on that, and, and, and I've chewed on it ever since. Um, I think that worship is really about opening ourselves up to the spirit of the living God, in, in, and in whatever way we can. We can never manipulate people into an experience, just to give them some emotional high and that, that, that is quickly lost. But ultimately, worship is about opening people to spirit um, and, and, and hopefully remaining open after the worship time.